I think it's historic. Um, today you see the first step uh, in uh, a movement, I believe, to do what we campaigned on, to say we're going to try to end abortion in Mississippi. We're going to continue to try to work uh, to end abortion in Mississippi, and this is an historic day uh, to begin that process. It's been seven years since we've got good pro-life legislation passed out of the Mississippi legislature. Uh, that's a bill that gives us a great opportunity to, um, to do to accomplish what our goal needs to be. Our goal needs to be to end all abortions in Mississippi. I believe the admitting privileges bill uh, gives us the best chance to do that. We have literally stopped abortion in the state of Mississippi. The only thing that can happen <laughs> We've gone from the Capitol since the only abortion clinic in the state of Mississippi. A bill was drafted that said if you would do perform an abortion in the state of Mississippi, you must be a certified OBGYN and you must have admitted privileges to a hospital. Anybody here in the medical field knows how hard it is to get admitted privileges to a hospital. If you are not in the medical field, here's how hard it proved for the doctors in Mississippi's only remaining abortion clinic to get admitting privileges to a hospital. It proved to be impossible. No hospital, not one, has been willing to grant privileges to the doctors who work at Mississippi's only remaining abortion clinic. The clinic's owner tells the AP that the doctors applied for privileges at several hospitals. Each application, a long, difficult, and complicated process. They applied at multiple hospitals and were turned down by every one of them. And that, of course, was the point. The governor, the lieutenant governor, the state's legislators in Mississippi admit that what they have been trying to do in their state is end women's access to abortion. Constitutionally, the state cannot make it illegal. But that has not stopped Republicans in state government there from trying to make it impossible. The last clinic in the state, which does a lot more than provide abortions, I should say, uh, the deadline for that clinic to comply with this new state law enacted specifically to close it down. That deadline was last Friday. The day before that deadline, Mississippi Governor Phil Bryant reminded a room full of pastors at an anti-abortion luncheon why it is he signed that bill in the first place. My goal, of course, is to shut it down. My goal, of course, he says, is to shut it down. After Friday's deadline passed, the next step was to have the state health department make an unannounced visit to the clinic in order to officially determine whether the facility was in compliance with the law. That visit happened this week. No word yet on the state's findings from the visit, but the clinic has already said publicly that it has not been able to comply with these designed to be impossible to comply with new law. Once it receives the state's report, the clinic will have 10 days to ask the health department for a hearing. And then at that hearing, the state could presumably close the clinic for good, the last clinic in the state. And then there will be no legal access to abortion in the state of Mississippi. The first state to have figured out a way to do that since Roe versus Wade, established 40 years ago this week, that supposedly that could never again happen in our country. The Mississippi Health Department's unannounced visit to the last clinic in the state happened on Wednesday. That was also, coincidentally, the day that our producers from this show were at the clinic to document what it is like to be the last holdout in the first state that could be about to revert to pre-Roe versus Wade America. This is our special report. Are we at a point right now where you don't know if the, the clinic will be able to stay open? We have no idea whether the clinic will stay open. We are letting the patients know as well uh, how tenuous the situation is. We uh, are hopefully the briefs that have been filed will, uh, the judge will have an opportunity to look at those and see how this law is really a trap law. This is the only abortion clinic in the entire state of Mississippi. Yes, it is. If you are forced to, to close your doors here, what happens to women in the state? We hate to think about what's going to happen to women and their health care in, in this area, in the state of Mississippi. E from Jackson, Mississippi, it's three hours any direction that they want to go. It already places a hardship on women because Mississippi really is a poor state. Uh, We'll be here to try to give them some direction and help no matter what happens. If the clinic is closed, uh, someone will remain here to give them some direction for a long period of time. We know that being in this, in this type of work, there are consequences. There are consequences uh, as we come in to work every day. 
Uh, we uh, worry about lots of things. We, we want to know and make sure that we are safe. Friends, abortion's not a quick, safe, simple little deal. Uh, we want to make sure that the women coming to us are safe. But I have found that the women that work with other women love their jobs. And there's no keeping them away from their employment here at Jackson Women's Health. They love their bosses, they love the owner, and they love their jobs. How do you know what days they're providing abortions? They stream in like lemmings. You just watch? Is that yeah, we watch. And when in the last, you guys saw in the last half hour, um, over 12 moms came in and, and are in there now. So it's pretty obvious when they're coming. We do take security seriously. We are ever vigilant when we come to work, when we leave work, and just in the community at large. They're just like any other clinic in, you know, like low income, in, you know, neighborhoods. They provide a wide variety of services and that they affect people who mostly look like me, you know, who come from backgrounds that are similar to my own. And that when you close these clinics, you know, you not only end abortion services, but you end, you know, other reproductive health issues and women health issues, which are so important because especially in, you know, low income communities, women are the backbone of those communities. So when you shut down clinics like these, you know, you hurt people in a, you know, in so many ways. The clock is now ticking uh, for the Jackson Women's Health Organization, the last remaining abortion clinic in the entire state of Mississippi. If or when it goes, if that clinic goes, that will be it for the women of Mississippi, for what is a constitutional right established 40 years ago next week by the U.S. Supreme Court. After the break, it turns out Mississippi is not alone. Our special report continues. Stay with us.